welcome you all to dieselship.com this series of educational videos is presented to you by Sriram and this video is especially produced by dieselship academy in the recent days you could have seen something called as a bladeless fan when you have been to some uh, electronic or electrical shop so how does a bladeless fan work that made me curious and I made some research through various websites to explain the engineering science behind the working of a bladeless fan. So a bladeless fan consists of a tower like this. This is the tower which is in two parts usually. One is the tube and one is the housing which houses a motor and other one is a blade or a circular turbine vane blade. So this motor drives this turbine vane blades. So the fan, the actual motor and fan on other impellers mounted here, it's over here. And the air suction is through these small holes provided around the circumference of this tube. So from here the air gets in this is the side view so from here the air gets in like this and then it goes up it climbs up like this and then it gets out through the tube I mean it goes up climbs up through the circumference of the circle and then comes out throughout the circle so the basic idea of having this bladeless fan is to avoid the pulsation or to improvise the pulsation which is felt in a normal ceiling fan. Let's now consider a normal ceiling fan which is having a blade. So what it does is, when it rotates, there is an air pulse which continuously flows. So right now when you are sitting underneath the ceiling fan, just observe it. You can feel the pulsations just hitting on your body. So these travel in the form of pulse. So when you consider to a bladeless fan, these pulsations are avoided and there is a continuous flow of air. These pulses are uniform and there is a continuous stream of flow of air. So that's the advantage of bladeless fan. And let's now see the cross-sectional view of the science to understand the science behind the bladeless fan and how exactly it improvises the air multi multiplier principle. Let's now see this figure. So now let's assume this to be the bladeless fan and I'm going to cut it into half. And I'm going to cut it now like this and then view from this side. When I view from this side, let's say this portion, I'm going to have a profile like this. So you must be wondering, it's similar to the aircraft's wing. Yes, that's right. This has some aerodynamic principle behind it. So let's now understand how it exactly multiplies the airflow. So from the tube, let's say the air flows out like this and it comes out through the circumference. Let's say air is available, which is coming from the tube throughout the circumference in this way. And this air travels this way. Let me indicate with other color. Alright, so let's say the air flow is this way. It comes like this throughout the circumference. Now here there is a hindrance provided so the air cannot flow like this. So it climbs up, yes, and then takes a turn it comes out, yes, then it comes out through the small aperture or small opening. Now, this is the cross-section view, so I'm going to rub this off for a better understanding of the profile. So, this is not required. So now the air 
escapes out through this minute opening and then what it does is due to this profiling it travels this way. So air inside the tube it rises up and then comes out and then goes like this. When this air is moving in this way the air available in the atmosphere let's say inside a room it's available like this and this air is set into motion again this air starts to move along with the air coming inside the tube and when this moves it sets the motion of other nearby air particle again this moves again this sets a motion so it forms a stream of wave like this so if we have one meter cube of air per hour inside the tube, there are 15 meter cube per hour of air is being circulated, which means due to the effect of this one, this air which is inside the tube makes the other air which is nearby to circulate, this makes this to circulate this again again this can continues for 15 times approximately so whatever air inside the room is getting circulated so by this manner it multiplies that's why this is based on the principle of air multiplier then it doesn't require a blade even though we have a very small motor at the bottom and uh, let's say it rotates and produces air through this tube when it comes out it pulls up all the nearby layer of air and then pushes it out. So the multiplication process of air movement is developed with this. So that's the principle behind bladeless fan. It's exactly called as air multiplier. So you can easily ask that any speed of air can create a movement. But one major factor what you have to remember is the speed or let's say the air which is supposed to travel at 50 let's say uh, 50 to 60 miles per hour unbelievable but it is true the air travels at a speed of 50 to 60 miles per hour within this tube and it is coming out like this this creates a nozzle effect where the velocity is much more increased so this increase in velocity at this point means increase in speed when the speed of air emerging out increases it sets the other air particle which is nearby in motion and then this let's say this air particle travels at 50 miles per hour and the nearby one 40 30 20 and 10 so it keeps on adding it and the cascading effect continues that's how the air is getting multiplied so thank you all for watching this video for more videos log on to dieselship.com